You were probably taught that there are nine planets revolving around the sun in our solar system and that the last two are Neptune and Pluto in that order. It blows my mind though that they switch places for 20 years every 248 years. If you were alive between 1979 and 1999, Neptune was the furthest planet from the sun for you. But if they cross each other's orbits every so often and are given literal billions of years to do so, I always assume that they'd inevitably collide one day, Neptune consuming the helpless Pluto, or maybe even making it a moon. Not too unheard of since this is a leading theory as to how Neptune acquired its largest moon, Triton, which by the way is a bit larger than Pluto. Luckily for Pluto, my fears for the icy rock planet were forgetting some key details. We like to imagine the solar system is flat, and relatively speaking it sort of is but the inclines of the planet's orbits result in distances of thousands, even millions of miles. Pluto and Neptune can cross orbits at the same time and still be very far apart. Finally, with three of Pluto's orbits happening every two of Neptune's, their orbital resonance simply won't allow them to get too close. I think the whole thing is pretty stellar.